Hello folks, my name is Gavin McLeavy. I'm the Global Scout Director at a sports agency here in Miami called ASM Sports. I'm also a coach at uh, St. Thomas University in Miami Gardens and uh, I'm lucky enough three or four times a year to get into the Caribbean and actually commentate international rugby competitions between the uh, Caribbean nations and uh, Northern American nations, uh, Mexico, USA and, and Canada. Um, so with all of that said, I'm, I'm very much into rugby. Uh, it's a, I'm a big fan of it and, and it, I've made a career out of the sport playing it and later coaching and being an agent and all of the rest of it. Um, what I want to speak to you guys today about is the amazing opportunities to play locally um, in SVG. Um, as well as potentially representing the country, uh, which would be obviously a fantastic thing to do, playing against other countries within the Caribbean, Central America, and even into North America, USA and Canada. Um, for things like Olympic qualification. It's a real thing nowadays. The rugby is an Olympic sport. Therefore, there is International Olympic Committee money designated to all of the countries that participate in the Olympics and obviously um, entering a rugby team. Uh, so that's something that uh, I think has really opened some doors for some of the smaller Caribbean nations. Um, if a player becomes an international representing their, their country, there are then opportunities to play the sport professionally. Um, so for those of you that, that don't know rugby, we're, we're going to encourage you to, to take a look at it. And I think there's some representatives um, on the island that want to really promote rugby and make it a thing um, in SVG. Um, I've already seen some talent come out of there in some tournaments not uh, in, in the the two distant past so we want to help grow that as much as possible um, beyond playing professionally obviously there are opportunities um, to go to university and get an education I'm here in the USA um, I'm from England originally but I've been coaching at St. Thomas University for a couple of years now and, and there is uh, this point nearly 700 universities in America and Canada that actually uh, play the sport very seriously and actually give scholarships for the education. Universities here, you can come do whatever it is that you want to study, engineering, business, law, etc. Um, but you can do that by um, playing the sport, representing the school, and they will basically give you scholarship money uh, to represent the school, play for them while you're getting your education. So that's one area that I want to, to look at firstly. Um, the biggest issue in America is that there's not much of a youth system for the sport. So yes, it's encouraged at university, but there's more university teams than there are youth teams. So there's not enough positions to fill the, um, or not enough bodies to fill the positions that are available. Um, so what I'm looking to do is help produce players out of SVG, get their education in, the, in America, and then play the sport at a more serious level. Um, I personally, in my team, have two Trinidad and Tobago national team players that they've played in some international and got, and got caps for their, their country. I have a national team player from Bermuda, and then even further afield, I have players from England, Zimbabwe, South Africa, that have played at the very highest levels. Um, this coming semester, I've got another TNT player. I've got a player from Jamaica coming in, and um, there was another one, I can't remember the, which country you're coming from now, but again, there's a there's a talent pool there that we can tap into, get them over here, and again, the coaches have got that scholarship money available. So, um, if interested, we'd really like to encourage you to bring uh, the, the, the sport into your schools, start getting the kids playing a bit younger, um, so that they can get a, a little bit of, of a head start in comparison to the American kids who really don't play the game until they get to the college level for the most part. Um, but there's obviously the academic side is very important. So let me explain a little bit about what's required to, to get a, um, a sports scholarship and, and qualify to get into university. Firstly, the coaches are looking for a certain amount of talent. Okay, It doesn't always necessarily have to be the, the, the high rugby IQ to play the game. They do use a lot of crossover athletes from track and field, some strong players that are doing the, the shot put, for example, sprinters and maybe uh, middle distance runners, and then obviously can be very useful as well. Basketball and volleyball players convert really well to rugby. Um, 
and then obviously American football and, and soccer. Um, rugby is a, is a form of soccer. That's why they call it rugby football. It was originally just football. Um, so there's been obviously many developments, but on the academic side, what they're really looking for, obviously in, in the Caribbean, you have CSEX or, or, or CXCs. Uh, you need at least five CXCs to be able to go to junior college in America. Junior college are basically two-year universities where you would get an associate's degree. But they exist, and there are um, universities like that that have rugby as a sport and do give scholarship money. If you want to go to a four-year university directly from your your country, um, then you would need to get CAPE as well. So two units of CAPE to be able to go to um, a US university for four years directly. There is one other option where potentially if you're in a, an already in a university in your country, then you'd have to complete one year and then transfer to an American school. Um, one of the key factors in this is the age. So a lot of people think you finish high school and then start applying. That's not the case. Most <clears throat> college coaches require um, to, to give your, their scholarship offer one year before you graduate. So if you're already in Cape, for example, at the beginning of your first year of Cape, you wanna start speaking to these college coaches, sending highlight videos, updating exam scores, for example. And then about one year before you finish um, Cape completely is when they will give you the scholarship offer. So towards the end of your first unit of Cape or the beginning of your second unit is when those coaches are gonna start writing offer letters for you. Again, if you wanna do CSEX and go to JUCO, you wanna do the same process about 18 months, one year before you finish with your CSEX. So um, those are the kind of qualifications. You need five CSEX and your two units of Cape if you wanna go directly to a four year school. Massively important. What I want to do is make sure that I'm available as a resource for you. You can use our sports agency if you want. We have services available. Um, there's also the university in Miami that, that I work with directly and I'm the head coach at that university. Um, great facilities if you wanted to take a look at that. But I'm really interested in getting rugby into the schools in St. Vincent and Grenadines um, so that we can start to build that rugby knowledge, that rugby ability, um, see if we can build some clubs within the country and then make it a national team that can go and represent and play against the rest of the Caribbean and the rest of the Americas for things like Commonwealth Games, uh, Olympics, Pan American Games, all of that is what we want to be involved with. Um, and from there, we can flourish into the education system as well with, with confidence about the knowledge of the game and being able to get your education. So all of that is something that I'd really like to help with. Um, again, you can contact me. We'll, we'll make sure that my contact information goes along with this video. And if you have questions along the way, please feel free to reach out to me via email or a simple WhatsApp message will work as well. All right, very nice to meet you again. My name is Gavin McLeavy, and I'm the Global Scout Director at ASM Sports here in sunny Florida. I'll speak to you soon, guys. Ciao.